Hey, hey, what's up guys? It's Jen. We're gonna be doing Volcano by Damien Rice. This was requested or sponsored, I should say, by my student Tim. We can make it really easy and we can make it the way that he plays it. There's this awesome um, live version of him playing it, which I'm gonna put a link in the description so you can see where I where I was uh, pulling from for the transcription because it's awesome. It's awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, now there's going to be bar chords. There's going to be using your thumb for some of these, but I'm also going to show you easy open position way that you can do the song. So a couple different versions depending on your level and what you feel ready for. So you ready Tim? Okay, so I'm going to show you how he plays it first, and then we'll talk about an easy version. Now, he's doing this A minor bar chord, so he's got... You do it a couple different ways. You can just do open, seven, and then bar, five, 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 like that. But what he does is he does this embellishment, so I would say bar that fourth string also, so you can do this hammer-on on the fourth string. So it's like... Now listen for what he's doing, because sometimes I hear it on the fourth string, sometimes I hear it on the third string. So it's like... Something like that. Listen, because he, he changes it depending on his mood, probably. Um, <laughs> Now you can also take your thumb, put it over on the 6th string 5th fret to give you that root, but you have your root here open, so I wouldn't quite worry about it. Or, you could do this. Take your pinky and hammer on the 3rd string 7th fret. Now he's doing a very aggressive palm mute strum where he's really getting a lot of percussive sound from his right hand. So it's like... Now he moves down to G. Looks to me like he's using his thumb here. You could do the full G like that, or you can just stay on this little G. Just make sure you're only hitting these three strings. So it's a quick change. So it's A minor. And then quick G. And then F. And again, it looks like he's doing some kind of shape like this. Now, because I have smaller hands, this is a little bit challenging for me. So. And he goes back to that G. I would say you could totally get away with doing these little shapes. But again, if you wanted to get those roots, or add the fifth in there with this shape. Now this is your intro and your verse. Remember, quick G's. Now, if you don't want to do that, you want to do open position, just do A minor. So, A minor, G, you could do, I did F bar chord, you could do this F if you wanted to. No big deal. Now, the pre chorus. Pre chorus, don't go to the last G at the end of the verse. So let me explain that. So you're doing A minor. F. But instead of sliding back to the G, just wait a second because the pre chorus starts with the G. So. into the chorus. So the, all the pre-choruses is uh, G and F, G and 
F. Again, you can do these little shapes. You can do the big bar chord shapes. You can do open position shapes. Doesn't matter. And now we're into the chorus, um, which is just A minor to F. What I am to you. Pay no attention to my nasty note that I just played. Also, listen if there's a place that you want to put those G's back in. But you don't have to if you don't want to. And the only other part is the bridge. And he's doing C over G. And this is where he opens up the strum. E7. A minor. A minor over G. F. Repeat that. So C over G, E7, A minor. Oh, it's not A minor over G. I'm sorry, it's this high G. Sorry about that. Scratch that. So you've got C over G, E7, A minor. Puts his pinky on the G note on the first string, third fret, F. So you do that twice. Sorry about that. And then you're back into... I like doing... The, uh the larger shapes. I just feel like you can get a, a bigger tone out of it, but it's, it's totally up to you. So again, keep in mind the different options that you have. Don't feel like you have to do everything all at once. One thing that I want you to pay attention to is when he moves to the G, because it changes. Um, sometimes it's like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Or sometimes it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Or sometimes it's even one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one. Big difference. Now again, he's just feeling it. He's not going, okay, so the third time I'm going to go on four. The sixth time I'm going to go on the and. It's not. Just listen and pay attention and, and know when, when the, you want to change there. Because every single time it's different. Again, I'm going to post that link in the description so you can see. Um, so you can get a better idea. But it's like, one, two, four, one, two, three, four. If you can get these little embellishments, that would be awesome. If you can get the thumb here, that'd be great, but don't feel like you have to do it or that you failed in some way if you can't play exactly the way that he plays it. Again, that still sounds good. If you're playing a song for somebody, chances are they're not going to go, oh, well, you know, excuse me, Tim, uh, I believe that that A minor should be barred and that G should be barred and you should have your thumb over. No, no, no. If you're playing it for somebody, they just want to know that you're feeling it and that it sounds good and sounds close to what it is. So they're not going to know if you're playing the bar here or if you're playing the A minor here. So again, don't sweat it. Try to play it the way that he does it, and then try to make your own version. So, Tim, let me know if you have any questions. If not, I will see you around maybe on a run. But probably not, because I don't run.
except for when I'm running to chicken.